Hey guys, Brett here, and today I want to show you some of the settings and options that are available with the Squeezematic Drag and Drop Builder. So you can see I have a page here that I'm working on, and this is actually one of the free templates that we include with Squeezematic. So I've got my page here, and I'm editing it, and I can. We've already gone over how we can right-click on the widgets in order to edit the specific widgets, but how do we edit the general options such as the background color, the, gra the background graphics, and things such as that? Well, in order to do that, we're just going to click on the Controls button, and you'll see down here we have an option called Settings, so we'll click on that. And this is going to bring up all of the page options. Now, we have full control over the page. When we generate an HTML page, we can specify which page title we want, which description we want, and what keywords we want. We can set the background with the easy to use color picker right here. We can set a border if we like. We can set a border style. We can set a border color. A really cool feature that we have here is we can have an on exit confirm. Now I know a lot of you guys have seen this when somebody's on your squeeze page or your sales page and they click away and it says hey are you sure you want to leave and it gives a little special text like click here to get a special offer and if you do it will redirect them to your on exit page. Well we can allow you to automatically add that JavaScript to your sales page or squeeze page that you make with Squeezematic. Simply select the turn on, the on exit confirm, enter the text you want to display, and then enter the redirect URL you would like the user to go to if they opt to stay in after trying to leave initially. Over here we have a couple of other options besides the basic settings. We can also click preview so we can preview what the actual web page will look like and we can click download to download it in full HTML finally we can save and clear of course now when we're building our page sometimes what we're going to find is that we don't have enough room to fit everything we want in so like say if I wanted to add some more stuff at the bottom here but I don't have enough room now. It's it's that's the end of the template. So what I'll do is I'll grab this drag and drop resize bar and I'll left click on it and I'll just make the page a little bigger. If I've made it too big, I can just shrink it back up again. And very easily I can set the height of my page. So that's a really quick look at some of the basic settings available with Squeezematic. If you have any questions, please feel free to click the help button on the upper right hand corner of your screen. I'm always glad to be of assistance. Thank you and enjoy.